Now, what is PrimeBot? PrimeBot is actually a crypto trading robot. Okay, it is a crypto trading robot that works with two major crypto trading exchanges. Number one is Binance. Binance is an exchange everybody knows, okay? And then the second one is Huobi. These are the two major exchanges that this board works with, all right? And it works through what we call API, okay? It works with what we call API. For those of you who are in, into the tech um, industry, who are programmers and the rest, you understand that API stands for application programming interface. Now, what API does is that if I have a platform and I want you to leverage on that platform and use it and do whatever you want to do, I will need to give you access to our API so that you can now use it to integrate your own platform into our own um, system, all right? So what Binance and Huobi does is that people who are tech savvy can actually use leverage on their API to start programming both you know, programming applications that can be doing some of these things that we do manually, automatically for them. That is exactly what PrimeBot does, all right? So what it does is that um, when you come in here and link it up with what we call API, okay? So you will link up the bot to your um, exchange using this API setting, all right? That is what you do. And then automatically, the reason why we are so um, concerned about promoting this bot is that Gone are the days where you carry your money and give to a platform who promised to be trading for you, okay? And at the end of the day, they will give you return. Even when you don't know what they are doing, they just give you return and stuff like that, all right? And then along the line, when you feel that, oh, they actually gave me this return this week, it means that if I put in more money, I will make more money. So the more you are planning to put in more money, uh, let's say you remember that, oh, I was supposed to buy my bears this year, I was supposed to build a house this year. It means that if I put in like $100,000 into this platform, I'll get back two hundred dollars or $300,000. So you go and borrow money or you go and, you know, um, clear the whole of your savings and then put into that platform. Before you know it, the platform disappears with your money. They go on maintenance and from maintenance, you don't hear anything about them. This board is not like that. Once you link it up, the money is saved with your exchange. And the good thing is that they work with these known exchanges, Binance. Binance cannot wake up one morning and say, um, we are having maintenance. Because of that, you cannot have access to your funds. No, they have built a reputation that has made everybody trust them, just like you trust your bank. When it comes to the crypto space, some of the bank you want to trust are exchanges like Binance. All right. When you mention Binance, then you have Huobi, which are the two major exchanges that the board works with. OK, so your funds, the capital you are trading with is with your exchange, your Binance account, meaning that the board has no access to those funds. OK, the only funds that the board has access to is the one that you'll be using as your fuel fee. I'll get to that. All right. So first and foremost, you will need to activate this board. And it is um, on a yearly subscription basis, okay? So if I come in here to where it says robot, I'll click on it. Um, to be able to activate this bot, it will cost you 150 USDT for a whole year, for 365 days, okay? If you activate this bot, it will cost you um, 150 USDT, as you can see here. So the bot costs 150 USDT to use it for 365 days. So after 365 days, you can renew the board and start using it again, all right? So you can either activate it with your fuel fee, which is in USDT, or activate it with bonus point. Bonus point can only be sent to you by your offline, all right? So for instance, if you sign up with Prime Board right now, you want to activate your board, I have bonus point that I can send to you, all right? You send me the equivalent in USDT and I send the 150 bonus point to you because one bonus point is equal to one um, USDT, okay? So I'll send a bonus point to you and you can use the bonus point to activate your account. Now, the beauty of using the bonus point is that instead of doing it at 150, I can do it for you at 100 USDT or your offline or whoever referred you or have told you about this board can do it for you at 100 USDT, all right? So you can activate this and start using it for 365 days. All right, so after activating the bot, the next thing you want to do is come back here and come in here to where it says API. 
Okay, so when I click on the API, these are the exchanges that I've mentioned that this board works with. Okay, so it works with Wobi and then it works with Binance. So you can go ahead. If it is Wobi, you have a account with you go ahead and bind and just click on bind. Okay, or if it is Binance, you have an account with you just go ahead and select Binance and go ahead and bind it. All right. So after binding this, the next thing you want to do is um, to fund your Binance or your Huobi account. Okay, let's say you want to start trading with $1,000, with $2,000, whatever amount you want to start trading with. You just put it in, into your exchange in USDT. The amount must be in USDT, all right? So if I come in here to where it says order, okay? If I come in and click on order here, this is where you will see all of the tokens that you can be trading on this platform. All right. So here, if I click on the order automatically, once you just click on this refresh button, okay, if you have um, 10,000 in your Binance or Wobi account, it will be reflecting here. If you have um, 20,000, whatever amount you have in USDT, that is what will be reflecting here. All right. It means that the board has actually been connected to your exchange. So the next thing you want to do is to set up a trade of the coin that you want to start trading, okay? So you go ahead and set up a trade of the coin you want to start trading. And we have a Telegram group, and in most cases, um, some persons do post the signals that are sent to the, to, the, to the Telegram group, to the WhatsApp group, all right? So the reason for that Telegram group is basically for signals. Instead of you wondering which coin will I trade, what do I do next, what, we just see opportunity in a coin that is moving very well in the market, we go ahead and share it with you, all right? So if I come in here, let's say, for instance, we want to trade Litecoin, okay? I'll go ahead and click on Litecoin USDT, all right? So when I click on Litecoin USDT, there are recent updates that this bot has made to the platform that actually makes it better. There are 101 bot like this in the market and new ones are coming up every day, all right? So if, even if you, if you have money and you want to invest in platform like this, in project like this, you can create your own board, okay? But there are basically few reasons why we want to go with some of um, like Prime board, with a platform like Prime board. So once I click on Litecoin, it brings me to this um, interface. The next thing I want to do is to make sure that I come in here, once I click on Litecoin, okay, it brings me here. I want to come in and click on this setting icon, okay? So this setting icon is what I want to come and click on, all right? So I'll go ahead and click on that. So once I click on it, it brings us to the setting interface. This is the setting interface. And here on the setting interface, let me take our time and explain this, okay? Um, this is one thing I want you guys to understand. Here we have your first purchase price. Now, the first purchase price is the amount you are willing to stake, all right, to make your project for the board to start working with. If you have $10,000 in your account and you are putting $100 here, the board cannot use the whole of your $10,000. It can only use $100. It means that the first buy, um, um, that the first buy that the board will initiate will cost you hundred dollars, all right? So this determines the profit. Let's say you have said that you want to take profit of 1%, 2%. It means that if the bot sells from this point where it's buying hundred or $30, it only take profit of $30, 2% of $30, 1% of $30, depending on the parameters you are going to be set giving or the command you are going to be giving to the bot, all right? So after that, the next thing is that we have the single mode and then we have the circle mode. Now, the difference there, as the name implies there, is that on the single mode, okay, when you come to the single mode, when the board buys for 30 USDT and then the market goes up, let's say your take profit ratio is 1%, and the market from when you bought goes up by 30%, once it sells, automatically that trade ends, okay? It means that you'll come back again and then set the trade afresh again before it can go ahead and buy. Why the circle mode is the automated method, all right? So let's say the market moves by 1% and then it sells and you're not there to set the bot again. The bot will uh, uh, tactically wait for the market to drop. When the market drop by the percentage, the, the, the um, perimeters that I've set here, when it drops by that perimeter, it goes ahead and buy again. 
And then when it goes up by either 1% or 2%, it sells again, okay? So that is what the circle mode means. And then the other strategy, the in, one we were using initially is this one that is called this Martingo strategy. This is the former strategy we're using. But right now I advise everybody to go with the split matching out, okay? If you are trading with this board, just make sure that you set all of your trade or all of the tokens you are trading to split matching strategy because this strategy is better than this one, all right? So um, I will explain that in details as I scroll down, okay? So always use the split matching strategy. So my focus will not be much on this one, okay? Because we are going to use the split, we'll just focus on the split, all right? So once you select the split matching strategy, you scroll down, then here where it says custom setting, because we are selected split matching strategy, we have number of split, okay? So you go ahead and select the number of split that you want here, okay? So there are split one, it starts from split one to about split 10, okay? So you can go ahead and select the number of split that you want. So if I click on this arrow here, I just click on this arrow here, you see that I can select from split one to split 10, all right? The number of split you choose depends on the amount of money you have on your account, okay? So the number of splits you choose will depend, solely depend on the amount of money you have on your account. So I'll, I'll, I will explain that as you scroll down. Then here is the take profit ratio. Remember I showed you up here that um, your first purchase price is $30, okay? So here that is take, the take profit ratio is 2%. It means that when the market moves by 2%, you are going to be making so when the market moves by 2%, okay, it means that you are going to be making 2% of 30 USDT, all right? So if it is 100, you put here, if it is whatever it put here, that is what this um, take profit ratio is, all right? So you go ahead and put the take profit ratio, okay? If you want to make it 1%, you can go ahead. If you want to make it 2%, you can go ahead. But from the signals that are sent out, you see in most cases 1.5, 2%, all right? And there are reasons for that, okay? But um, those of us who are trading with a bigger capital, we actually trade um, between 1% to 1.5%, uh, all right? It makes the market hit our target faster, all right? So you go ahead and put in that. And then the earning callback. Now, this is where um, these two, I will not emphasize on this more, but this, what this simply means is that when I say the take profit is 1%, all right? And then all of a sudden, the market started moving from here this way, okay? So let's say we started trading from here and then the market moved, this is 1%, it moves 2%, it moves 3%, 4%, 5%, in as much as the market is not coming down. Even if it moves up to 100%, it will continue to take profit for us, all right? So the any callback that you are seeing here, what it simply does is that if it, since it is 0 0.1 here, it means that as this market is moving, whenever it retraces by, as the market is moving, Whenever it retraces by this 0.1% that is here, that is when it is going to sell. So it means that even when you are saying your take profit should be 1%, the board can be making 10% at a go for you in as much as the market moves up. So the market will move. It is only when it retraces by 0.1% that the board will now sell and take profit. So in that, in that case, it could be 1%, it could be 2%, it could be 3% and so on. And then the call um, back for margin call is if the market goes down, all right, it continues to go down and then it starts retracing by 0.3%, it will now initiate another buy, all right? That sensors the board that, okay, the market is beginning to reverse, okay? So buy, so that is what all of this means, all right? And then here we have the price for a circle stop, all right? So instead of doing say, say a single mode, you can come in here, let's say you started trading when Litecoin was a uh, hundred and seventy dollars, for instance. So, and then looking at this, okay, that is why the signals always specify that, okay, um, this. Uh, because when we look at this, we want to look for where there is a resistance and support, okay? That determines where to set up your, your price for circle stop. 
So when the market starts circling and trading automatically for you, once the price gets to 200, automatically the circle stop will stop. So the trade will stop and then you wait again and take another trade. That is how this works, all right? So you see why the matching strategy is better, okay? So that is it for the matching strategy. And then as I scroll down here, we have the advanced settings. And then this advanced setting has to do with the, um, the split, all right? The number of split that you choose here. Now I choose five split. So we have split one, split two, split three, split four, split five, all right? And the beautiful thing here is that each of these split are treated as a separate trade, all right? So on the split one, we have first call, we have year will always be your first purchase price. And then we have um, first cover and second cover, okay? This one will always be your uh, purchase price, your first purchase price. And then this one will be your first cover and second cover. It means that in every split, you have two covers. The two covers, the S uh, reason for this cover is that you are now trading the market under probability, all right? So let's say I want to start trading Bitcoin at 47, um, 800, all right? And my expectation is that Bitcoin will continue to go from 47, 800 to 50 to 60 or even to 100. But why we now trade with this one is that what if it doesn't go as we expected and then the market start dropping down? What do we do? The board, you can use the board to take advantage of the market. I was emphasizing this when Bitcoin, you know, it will hit 40 and then it drops to 34, it will hit 40, it will drop to 33 and stuff like that. The smart investors, what they look at is when it drops, they want to pick up more, okay? When the market drops, that is the idea behind every business. People want to go to a market where they will buy things cheap and then sell them at a higher price. But when it drops, what people don't understand in the crypto space is that this is something that is normal, all right? So it's not as if maybe when it drops, people will say, ah, Bitcoin has died, oh, this, oh, that. Why you are panicking? You know, smart investors in this uh, field are using that opportunity to pick up a lot, you know, to buy more. Some persons are waiting when the market goes up to, to the sky, that is when they want to buy. And they are happy that, oh, they have made their purchase. But when it drops, those are the kind of people who have high, high blood pressure first in the market, all right? So you want to make sure that is exactly what this board does for you. So where, when they split, the first cover will not be okay. I bought here at uh, 47,800. Um, when the market drops by 3%, which is this percentage you put here, this number you put here, okay, means that when the market drops by 3%, you want to buy more. And what do you want to buy? You want to buy um, two times, okay? This is what this means here. You want to buy two times, all right? And then if it goes off from here, it means that the two times you bought here plus the one time here, you have bought three. So if it is $30, $30, it means that you bought crypto worth $90. So if eventually it goes up 1% or 2% and it sells for you, you are making profit. Instead of $30 initially, you are not making profit of $90, all right? And then here, um, on the second cover, if it draws by additional 4%, okay? Four plus this three here, it means that the market might have dropped by 7% before this one will trigger, okay? So if it drops, you want to buy more. And how many times will it buy here? It will buy four times for you. So $30 into four, four times, whatever it is, that is how much you will need to be able to cover up to this, uh, it, to this, okay? So here it will buy, and when it goes up from here, now beautiful thing is that this is treated as a separate trade, okay? The first split here, split one is treated as a separate trade, okay, entirely. Meaning that if the market goes up here, it sells, okay? And then split two is equally treated as a separate trade. So let's say you want to cover up to the fifth split, okay? If you cover up, the market might have dropped whatever percentage you put here. If it drops up to the fifth split, when the market starts retracing back upward, okay, the, first, the fifth split will be sold and take profit for you. And then the fourth will be sold as well. It goes to the fourth, it will be sold. And when it goes to the third, it will be sold. If it goes to the, first, uh, the second and then to the fourth gradually like that, okay? That is how the split are treated. And after you are done with your settings, you go ahead and click on update, okay? Once you click on update, this will be updated. Just click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, you go ahead and click on this startup. Where it says startup, okay? 
you go ahead and click on startup and your trade um the board will start trading that coin for you all right so all of the signals that we sent um last week um i think last two weeks till now actually all of them are all in profit that is exactly what this board does for you all right but in the case of probability you want to trade that is when the settings of using split uh, using percentage now comes in all right so that is all i have for you guys this evening um i think your question will help me to throw more light for anything you don't understand all right so i will now make it um enable the option for you to unmute yourself um just unmute yourself only when you want to ask question or when you want to make um, your own input okay 